It's Mother's Day. Hey guys, look what they have. Hey guys, uh, Andy's pool service here in Texas. I'm just kidding. But, mom, let's see, um, Proverbs 31 30. Charm is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So, your commitment to God is to be praised. And definitely see the change in both you and dad. Um, thank you for how you guys raised us. Because it's scored. And, and also, uh, look how dark I am. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for raising such an amazing man. And we love you so much. Sorry we couldn't be there, but we'll see you very soon. <laughs> and I hope you have an amazing day, and I'm glad you like your gift. Love you. And we're on our way to Mike and Ophelia. Let's go. Happy Mother's Day. 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 Ole, ooh, ooh. Oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> Quesadillas are mainly for Olivia. You get the broth and dip it in. Oh, everybody knows about that. I'm crazy. Or you can have the, the just that. Good. Good. Woo! We like Ophelia's taqueria. <laughs> Teme a Dios hacer las cosas buenas, gracias a Dios y a ti aprendí a apreciar todo lo que me decías y me enseñabas. Ahora soy la mujer que soy por ti, por Dios que me guía en el buen camino. Te honro, te, honro, te respeto, te aprecio y te amo. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Listen, you're the, you're the most loving, supportive person I know. Um, Obviously, to my mom, but like you, you've, you've been there for me. You've been there for all of us. You've been my friend when I needed it. You've been my therapist when I needed it. You got me money when I needed it. I needed to cry. You were there. You. But nobody else was. My dad didn't. Wasn't there. You. You were there. You can always count on me to be there. Uh, most importantly, my mom. You know, you you cheer me on. You're my biggest cheerleader. You're all of our biggest cheerleaders. Um, I think back to times when we were all like in a weird place in life, right? Like, I think back to the apartment in Turlock. And we were all in a weird place in life, all of us. We were all struggling emotionally, emotionally <laughs> uh, financially. Um, but we made it. Right? It's because you were the rock, you were the glue. You didn't let us feel sad. You, um, you, you always did, and you, you, you came and you rallied us up and you put us on our faces. Like you always did. You made us uh, a little, little taco, a little burrito. You know, we're sad and you put us up. And it was, it was awesome. 
Listen, you know, any any success that any of my siblings, myself, my siblings, um, you know, have behind our names, uh, it's because we put it there. That's it. No matter what our decisions became in life, whether they were bad or good, you are always right there supporting us. And that's what makes you the best man. I love you, and now that I have two of my own, I know exactly how you feel when you say I love you. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> You're my best friend. I feel very lucky to have you as a mother. Somebody that I can run to with anything and everything. You're always ready with an open heart and a shoulder to cry out. No matter what BS we play you through, you're always there, ready to hug us until we can finally take that quiet release. Your unconditional love is on that, and I love you always after forever. And that's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. You've shown me what it truly means to be a mother. You're so patient, kind, and you love all your children wholeheartedly. And you've welcomed me into your family and shown me that same love and kindness since day one. I'm sad we can't all be together, but hopefully soon, maybe July. But I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Love you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, my message is uh, I love your kind heart. I love your, uh, your resolve to your principles and stick to them. I love your willingness to, to ask questions and learn about others. And again, your kindness and empathy. I really value that. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Mom, <clears throat> growing up, you probably thought I was a pretty angry child. Every time you ask me to do something, I'll get so frustrated. Well, being married, you know, moving out of state. Um, at the time, it didn't seem pleasant. But I think, <clears throat> without a doubt in my mind, I 100% understand. So, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you. Well, that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you like this? Oh, wait, you Oh, honey, come on. Sé que nuestra juventud no fue cariñosa por todo lo que pasamos y ahora de adulto lo comprendo. La vida es corta y es importante de uno saber que es querido. Trataré de que aquí en adelante decirte más seguido te quiero madre. Oh. Carolina es una reflexión de usted. Sí es. Ella es trabajadora porque usted la enseñó a ser trabajadora. A todos. Carolina le gusta la casa limpia porque a usted le gusta la casa limpia. A Carolina 
Es una excelente madre porque usted es una excelente madre. Gracias. A Carolina le gusta tener a sus hijos juntos como a usted le gusta tener a sus hijos juntos. Sí. Carolina habla español y me ayuda en el negocio porque usted le enseñó a hablar español, no como nosotros. <risa> que no les enseñan. Yeah. No, Carolina es muy ahorrativa porque usted es ahorrativa. Y Carolina está chula porque usted está chula. Oh, ¿Eh? Salir de las madres. <risa> I'm sorry I couldn't be there. It's Mother's Day, but hopefully we're next. So the other day, I got a call from Theo Paul, got an idea to express the love we and the cousins have for our mothers. And I thought to myself, dang, what am I going to say that can talk when I made you fall your eyes out the other day, two months ago? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just do my best. Mom, you're in my entire world. You're my whole world, my moon, my sky, my whole universe. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you, literally. <laughs> I love you so much, and I hope to keep making you proud now and forever. Every day, I wake up thinking to myself, how's my mom doing? How's the family doing? What's it like back home? And I do anything to get it right now. But in exchange, I hope to give you something, or say someone to brag about. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see you and the family in the next few months, and this time I'll be expected. Thank you for always being. I've been thinking, because Dad brought it up a while ago, and was like, "Hey, I want you to, you know, say something for your mom." And immediately, like the first thing I thought, just the first like two words, was just "thank you." Thank you for everything you do for me because I know sometimes I might not show much appreciation or acknowledgement. I know it's just you do so much. You cook, you clean, you know, you help us. You just, you do so much. You drive me where I need to go because I haven't gotten in a car yet. <laughs> and just, you know, thank you for all the sacrifices and just everything you've done for me. And just thank you for always being there to support me and just lift me up. And like whenever I'm feeling down, you always come into my room like, are you okay? <laughs> you always are making sure, <laughs> always making sure I'm happy, and you make me so happy. And I know sometimes you might not think you're doing good, but I promise you, you've done great. You're always Aww. doing great. And even when you're having bad days or good days, I know that you're just you're always making sure I have good days, and I do. And thank you so much. Mother, <laughs> sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy to have known you most of my life. Start over. I'm happy to have known you most of my life. You've been there for me. For, you've been there for me for everything, the good and the bad. I have taken so many of these lessons and implemented into my daily life. The patience you have shown me is immeasurable. I know I may not have been the easiest to raise, and there have been many times I know you want to strangle me. Uh, from getting straight A's only until I got the dog, then basically failing. <laughs> True that. Um, uh, to almost burning down the house. And letting me move back for a few weeks, which turned to a year and a half. <laughs> one of the biggest lessons you taught me was about letting go and holding on to hope. I remember one day I came home famished, and you, ser and you served this amazing, indescribable casserole. <laughs> it was so good, I still dream it to this day. The family and the dog knew how much I liked it, and they refused to eat the casserole. <laughs> um, after that, you refused to make it again. <laughs> and I knew I had to say goodbye <laughs> to the casserole that I, at one point I considered my best friend. <laughs> I still hold hope that one day you will make it again. <laughs> Uh, you taught me lessons about life and death. One day, when I was in fourth grade, I, had, I decided to run an experiment. What would happen if I eat a piece of tape? Later that evening, we were on a drive. We went on a trip with some people, and uh, you and I were in the back seat. I had I hadn't been feeling uh, sorry. I had been feeling a slight scratch in the back of my throat. Uh, worried, I looked up at you, my loving, caring mother, and asked you, "What happens if I eat tape?" You looked at me with your caring eyes and simply said, "Rafa, you die." <laughs> I burst into tears, Ophelia had to pull over, and everyone had to console me. 
I will say though, I'm still here. Your hypothesis was incorrect. <laughs> Throughout all that, I also have to say that I won life, the life jackpot because I could not have asked for a better mother. You're always there for me. Your generosity kept my, uh, has kept food in my pantry for years. Aww. And uh, you show me so much love that I only hope that I can uh, uh, replicate it uh, when I eventually have kids of my own, if I change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could not have gotten this far uh, in my life without you, and I could not continue my life without you. I love you, Mother I need you. Aww. Aww. Um, so yeah, we have the message from Dad to say to write down a note, or to like a month, month ago. <laughs> it's at maybe a month and a half. Um, and like me, I procrastinate and don't do it. So yeah, I do write it like normal. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, but you know, I guess you know. After a few years of therapy, I've stopped pushing every time you try to hit me. I'm not very <laughs> showing affection. You know, every night that you come in, you get the loss. But that's pretty much the best I can do for that for now. But you know, um, you do always just like as well said, sacrifice. You put yourself out there for all of us. You do try to take care of us, even when we're sick and you're sick. You're always trying to take care of us first before uh, treating yourself. Even today, you know, not feeling too great, and you, you're still like, you good, you good, you good. <laughs> so, you know, I thank you for that, and yeah, love you. Happy Mother's Day. Aww. Yeah.